Hello, I'm Chuckin' with Key, and I'm going to help you set up ETS2 dual screen for the right hand drive. Let's begin. So, if you've already got surround set up on your PC, please skip to this number right here. So, let's get into it. First, if you have NVIDIA, you click on NVIDIA control panel. So once you've opened NVIDIA control panel, it will open you up on any of these pages. Depends if you've been in it already. What you want to do is click on configure surround. You should have this tick box unticked. Let me untick it for you now. Okay, so you should have this screen right here. You can see span displays with surround is unticked and the configure button is grayed out. Now the processor on the right, just select as auto select. It will do it depending on which is the best the one you've got. So when you've got both monitors hooked up and next to each other you want to tick this box that says span displays with surround and then click apply. If you click configure uh, it should bring up this page but it will ask you to close all of these programs. You don't need to close all of these programs. If you click cancel and just click apply once you've got this box open, you'll see two numbers on your screen. You'll see one and two. Line these boxes up so it matches the monitors that you've got. It can be temperamental if you click and drag the boxes, but it will go into place. Now, once you've done that, make sure all of the monitors are ticked. Make sure your resolution is selected to one that you want. Make sure your refresh rate matches your monitors. It normally defaults to 60 hertz. But if you've got a gaming monitor, you can bump that up to 120 or 240 hertz. Once you've done that, leave the bezel correction because that can glitch out sometimes on the video surround. So once you've done that, just click enable surround. Okay, once that happens, it will take a few seconds to do. Your screens will go black and they will flash with different colors as it does it. Also, uh, your NVIDIA surround settings may crash on you, that is totally normal, just be patient and let it load. So once you've done that, you can click X on here, once you've done that you will have, uh, the computer will think that you've just got one monitor, when you've actually got two. So you can close NVIDIA control panel. So once you've done that, you now need to set the game up to run dual screen, because if you open the game now, what will happen is it will open on one screen and turn one screen off. That's not quite what we need at the moment. So what we do is go into your file explorer, go on Euro Truck Simulator 2 from your documents or wherever your game saves to, where all your profiles are. Left click on config and then right click and then click open with, click more apps and then scroll down until you see notepad. I've already opened it with notepad, so mine defaults to it. Once you've done this, you'll see a bunch of lines and it looks really complicated. But down here, it says Multimon and it's got quite a few of them. On the bottom, the last Multimon, that stands for Multi Monitor. You want to turn the mode to 4 and then file save and then close this so once you have done that I want you to open ETS2 so when you open ETS2 it should open in the middle of your screen like this okay so once your game is loaded fully I want you to click on save and load save game and just save it as dual monitor this updates the file system and will create a new file on your documents. So let's go to that new file. You can now close the game totally. So go to your documents, go to ETS2 and then scroll down. You will see a new file called multimon underscore config. This is multi monitor uh, config. And when you open it, you should get a screen full of text. Just ignore that for now. Next, I want you to go to this website. I've put a link in the description. 
Uh, it should say dual monitor slash screen guide. If you've got any problems with this uh, website, please put it in the comments below. So if you want your steering wheel on the left hand side, so it's a European truck, then if you scroll down to uh, step two, multi config, select all this all the way to the bottom, copy, and then open the multimon config, do control A, control V, and that will put all of that in there. So once you have done that, uh, just file save and then open the game normally and it should be fine. If you want right hand drive, scroll down or click on right hand wheel and you'll see this, this and then a big bunch of text. This is the one you need to copy and paste. Click and drag all the way to the bottom including this little bit down here and click copy and then go into your documents multimon config and then paste and then click save close and then close the file browser and then you can close chrome if you want because you're done with that open euro truck simulator to it now what you should get is euro truck loads on one side just like that but the left monitor doesn't turn off or if you did the European truck one it should load on the right and not on the left okay so once the game's loaded you can just click drive and you should expect to see your truck parked on the side of the road or wherever you last parked and you should see across both monitors your cab if you've got any issues please tell me in the comments and i will try to help if you need any one-to-one -one support with it or want me to help set it up for you my discord is in the description below uh, my twitch is also in the description below if you want to uh, watch any gameplay of this my discord server will also be in the description 